some years ago many years ago i think um 1998 i was still in secondary school then i think that on that particular day the day I'm, i want to talk about god gave me another life because that day would i say i threw away the life god gave me or i lost the life god gave me initially but that day god gave me another life because i actually should have died that day i was in secondary school and then we go for excursions once in a while and we yeah please you can sit so we had an excursion to go for and we all went for the excursion we i i'm going to share this testimony with some details so that maybe if you want to verify you can verify you know i my secondary school was st paul's academy he caught it in the aquabom state so where we went for the excursion was at obodakara local government osakanang village to be precise yeah the name sounds strange right <laughs> Yeah, so it's a, it was a riverine area. We, the excursion was the site was by the bank of a river, a river, a big river, not a stream, a river. So there were trees around, so the trees around provided shade, and also we could easily put our mats and things, you know, and just sit under the shade and had have, had had a, we had a good time. So we were there we had done all our games all those activities you do in excursions and towards the end our proprietor who was a very he was a, a fan of uh, giving different things a try in your life don't just cage yourself in, in one area in life so he thought every one of us should have a taste or a feel of the water so they, they had prepared tubes you know inflated tubes and with straps that you know you just uh, put the tube around you and just hang the strap on your neck so it doesn't go off so we all had our own and we were supposed to be put into the water two by two so uh, they would put us from this angle you know we were, were quite young so they just threw you into the river and then the way the flow of the river was it had a y pattern at the towards the front so the, the way they throw us in we were supposed to normally just go towards this side of the y and then there were two people there waiting to just pull you up when you get there so who was the first to go i was class prefect so i was supposed to be the first i actually wanted to whether i was class prefect or not i just wanted to because i felt i liked water i still like water and i felt it's something like, ah, is it not just to enter water and just do like this i felt i could do it but i never swam before i just felt i can do it so we were two me and one other guy my classmate then we they threw us into the water and one thing they forgot to do was to actually check what the current of the water was at the time they did not do that so it was at the time that we were thrown into the water that they realized that the current was actually very fast at that particular time and we had tubes the other guy immediately they threw us into the river it was obvious that there was a problem because the river wasn't taking us to the area we were supposed to take us to this other side that it was supposed to take us to was like the small branch of the river then the other one is the main river so the thing just took us immediately we speed towards that side they knew something had gone wrong our the tube uh, that we were wearing went off our necks immediately the other guy that was with me could swim he was actually from that village i've forgotten his name i wish i could remember his name i'll call his name he's from he was from that village so he could swim he swam his way out i was the one left in the water to struggle I, I, to just prove what i thought to myself that i could do i i didn't know what to do you know when you are when water is just carrying somebody 
proprietor shouted. That was what I, I heard that shout from, that, from the bank of the river. If York, that's the name of the diver. If York, what are you doing? Go after him. If York was standing there and watching, because he felt that place was too deep for him to go. The diver that could swim felt he couldn't come to where I was. The thing was just carrying me. The thought that was on my mind at that time, my classmates were already cry crying because there was this story about people going to a, a schools, going for excursion. Aquai Bonsta is a riverine area. So most times schools go for excursion in riverine areas and once in a while a child is drowned, you know, all those stories. So they f everybody felt, okay, so this is it for our own. It, it, nothing, I didn't pray. I can't remember, I can't really remember what was going on in my mind, but I remember thinking, okay, how is this going to end? Worst case scenario. This thing will just hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit my head on one rock. How, how fast would the death be? That's what I was just thinking in my head. Or, just carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me. If, I, if, if it doesn't hit me anywhere, just send me to one other side of the world. <laughs> if I survive, I become homeless. <laughs> or, I was a child. So, that's all. Those were the things that were going through my mind. You know, I didn't, I didn't say, Jesus, help me. I didn't say any prayer. Somehow, it just dawned on me that I was getting drowned. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't swim. As I was going, everybody was shouting. They were crying at the bank of the river. They, uh, they, they were just standing there helpless. Some, somehow, I can't explain till today. In the river that was in which I was getting drowned, my feet hit a stone or a rock. I don't know what it was, but it was a stone or a rock, whatever it is, something like that. I hit a stone and I stood upright on it. That doesn't make sense. How do you stand in a river that is drowning you? On a stone. Not that the stone was grew out of the river. It is inside the river. So it wasn't seen. It was inside the river. So I was a part of me was still inside the water. And I was standing on the stone with the wave that was carrying me before. The wave just wasn't carrying me anymore. I stood there. They brought a canoe to where I was to take me out. The divers couldn't come to where I was. They brought a canoe. When I got back on shore, as in I got to land that day, I, it was clear to me, it was clear to me that there is a God that loves me. There is a God that had said, no, this will not happen because I had not, I had not designed this to happen this way. There is a God that saved me that day. It was very clear to me so I, I usually tell people that i have an understanding of the solid rock on which i stand you know when we sing that song on christ the solid rock i stand i have a personal understanding of it because whenever i sing that song that is the picture that comes to my mind because i wasn't i i, I don't think i was standing on that rock that rock actually helped me Like I said, if you want to verify the story, you can go and verify it. God has been good. I have every reason to be grateful to God. And when I look around too, to people around me, those of us in this studio right now, and friends all over the world and families wherever, I, can, I see every reason to be grateful to God. Can we just lift our hands one more time and give God a wave offering? Just give God a wave offering. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>